what's going on you guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are in episode six act one revelation of valorant and uh in today's video we're pretty much going to be you know kind of going over some of the stuff that came out in the season there's a new map new bundles i can't I'm, i can't afford the new bundles right now but maybe maybe uh, whenever i do get it i'll give like a little video showing off some of it um you know battle pass store maybe show off the map a little bit like in a private match or something overall it's going to be a fun time and i'm really really excited and with that being said let's get right into the video So to start us off today, we're going to look at the new collection in the game, which I am so excited about this collection because this collection looks sick. It is probably going to be one of the better collections in the game, like period. So uh, let's look at it. The price of this bundle is 8,700 VP, which is about 85, $87, maybe 90 ish. It is expensive. I will buy it probably at some point, just over time. I'm not gonna like jump and buy it right now because I don't have that kind of money. But you know, it is what it is. So let's uh let's look at this. So we'll start with the uh the melee here. Does this not remind you of a Halo sword? The sword from Halo. That's what it looks like. It looks like a Halo energy sword, just kind of a little wackier looking. I don't know. But this is the Araxis Bio Harvester. It is a pretty sick yeah that is that this is i'm by the way all, my first time looking at all this and this melee right here is pretty insane i like the noises it's not like super big it's not like only claw big it is not going to block your screen very much I, I, i'm a fan of that one so then you have all these color variants so we have the original gold one we have the purple one which is probably going to be one of my favorites. I am a purple, light blue guy. This looks amazing. Oh, I'm excited about that. Then we have the black and red one, which also... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's so good. Yeah. It, yeah. That, that right there is insane. And then the last one, we have the silver version, which I'm not going to lie. Usually I'm not a fan of silver stuff, but this also looks sick. I would probably definitely rock this whenever I end up copying this bundle. I'm excited. It just gives me such Halo energy sword vibes. I love it. Uh, next, we have the operator skin, which it's 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 kind of an interesting looking operator. But uh, so we have level two, add some of the sound effects like, you know, that. It's loud. Um, that's what I'm saying. Animations. Yeah, that animation is sick. It's giving me really hard um, singularity, prelude to chaos, and origin vibe is what it's giving me. Yeah, it, it, that is sick. Let's see the... That is that finisher is so sick that is, yeah it's beautiful then we have the purple version of this one which also looks fantastic and pointing out here the fact that they're now making every single bundle change colors based off what color variant you're running is a amazing absolutely amazing thing I, I'm so happy they did that because it was my biggest complaint about this game for the longest time. It really bothered me how, like, let's say for, like, Reaver, you could be using, like, the black variant of Reaver and the color banner or the kill banner is still purple. It bothers me. But this this color this color looks so sick. Let's look at the black and red. Oh, yeah. People who just love... I, I am a, I'm a sucker also for black and red color scheme like I'm anything and this just looks so good that finisher looks the same and then let's look at the uh let's look at the gray the silver one wow that uh kill effect thing with the silver one cool. yeah that that is sick I'm a fan 
then we have the shorty it's an interesting looking shorty but it's actually one of the better ones i'd probably say yeah that is nice that is really cool we're gonna kind of speed through some of these here's the purple one again looks so sick black and red one just it looks menacing silver one looks good uh it's probably my le actually probably the original one's my least favorite um i'd rather have probably the black one is my favorite purple one is like right behind it but that's the shorty we also have a bulldog I, this is probably one of the sicker looking bulldogs in the game because there's some some bulldogs kind of look funky i'm more i kind of like bulldogs built like this this is the original one you have the purple one that, that kill sound whenever you kill somebody is so good very oh didn't mean to do that very little amounts of red on the board so i'm kind of a fan of it. it's like a nice balance kind of then we have the silver one silver one looks good I'm not a huge bulldog person every now and then, like if I'm running low like on my, my my money or whatever, I I end up buying a bulldog every now and then, but not very often. Yeah, these animations look sick though. Yeah. And then probably the one everyone's mostly excited for in these mods, it's the Vandal. For sure. It's an interesting looking Vandal. See this okay, this Vandal from what I'm seeing here gives me hard like the way it looks it gives me kind of prelude to chaos vibes like it doesn't look like it actually has a barrel it gives me really hard prelude to chaos vibes it's like the vandal really not never got a singularity so this is kind of what you could say quote unquote is the singularity vandal it's a little loud but it's not like obnoxiously loud like origin is though no i could get over that origin's too, too much for me this purple one looks sick. They always be every single time they put purple in any anything, it is just sick. Black looks good. Perfect amount of black and red. Mostly black with a little hint of red. It looks good. Silver also looks good. And this lighting it looks a little whack, but let's see what it looks like. And the other lighting that they usually show them in. It looks a little different. It looks it looks good though, for sure. Um, this bundle also comes with this spray, this card, which looks sick, uh, this gun buddy, which also looks pretty cool. And you get if you buy the whole bundle, you get the card, the buddies, the spray, and the melee all for free. It's an 87. 87 thousand or eight thousand seven hundred vp or eighty seven hundred it's pretty expensive but i think honestly if i had to rate this bundle one out of ten i'm gonna give it a nine and the only reason i'm not gonna give it a ten is because the firing sound is a little loud i wouldn't say it's like unnecessarily loud it's not like origin loud but it's loud and it kind of bothers me just a little bit. But other than that, I'd give this bundle a straight 9 out of 10 with no questions asked. So, uh, so yeah, that's the uh, the Araxis bundle. I'm pretty excited to cop this one. If you are copying it, let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah, let's go check out the Battle Pass now. All right, let's go check out the, uh, the Battle Pass. Battle Pass time. Here we go. So... Tier one, you <laughs> oh jeez! All right, you get the nine lives guardian. Um, I believe this one, this, I believe it's this, uh, collection, is the one that has multiple variants. I'm not a huge fan of the jet one. Let's see, where is it a vandal? Oh, let's just go to the guardian. Let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, this one has multiple variants. You have the Ray's version. That's kind of cute. You have the Reno one, which that's a little minute scary looking. And then you have the Viper one. I, I'm, 
I like some of these. The Jet one is a little weird. The Rays one's okay. I, I like the Reina and the Viper one, though. Those are kind of cool. Other than that, I would much rather use, like, last last uh, Axe Guardian, because I like this color scheme a lot more, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah. Um, and then, okay, so we have a, a little wheel buddy. Radiant Knight, nine lives card. I'm definitely not using that. Um, this is the uh, one of the other collections. So we have the Venturi, Venturi Frenzy. It's, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this collection yet. It's okay. It's all right. It's a little, I don't like the boxy look. But other than that, it's okay. The Duo Field Command card with Brim and Sage. That's an all right card. Pretty nice. A little title don't really care about that that's a pretty cool spray also a pretty cool spray some more radionite this card's pretty cool i'm pretty sure this is the one that changes over time or like the further you get to the battle pass it changes um we have a ghost skin oh this is the other this is the last collection in this battle pass this one is probably my favorite collection out of all of them um i love like the uh sunrise whatever they call it type stuff and this one looks this looks pretty cool this looks really nice um you have the episode six whatever buddy uh buddy moonlit chase is that thing that's kind of in the home screen you have a no worries neon spray or radiant night some like origami buddy uh nine lives aries it's all right uh radiant night another title Get grid grid crash judge i like this i i don't use the judge very often uh very often um the one judge can i do use is the uh the carnivore judge because i bought that whole collection and but this is one i'm definitely going to be running a good little bit because it's cool looking i like it it's not like it's not entirely 3d but it's like made out of you can almost tell that it's like made out of glass it's kind of cool looking the venturi card um this one's all right it's all right. I can definitely tell that they're going for like a race car type thing. Last person stand. Yeah, this is this is how it feels. That's that face explains exactly how it feels. Radiant Knight, the Venturi Marshall. This this is a this is a sick looking Marshall. Marshall skins are so hit or miss. There's not very many good ones in this game. This is a pretty okay one. Network error. Yeah, that just gives me like a bunch of PTSD. Good fortune spray is pretty good. More Radiant Knight. New Year's not, buddy. Pretty cool. Definitely not it. Spray. That's funny. Nine Lives Phantom. It's not bad. Again, not bad. The other variants might look a little better, but this is not bad. I definitely run it. Maybe. Uh, Playzilla Dan card. Those are. That's pretty cute. More Radiant Night. Oh yes, spray. That's funny. Oh no, spray. Oh my. They did not do that meme that is funny this card right here is sick though i will definitely be running this card for sure when i get it i, I don't know i'm just a huge fan of that stinger grid crash stinger this is nice i'm always down for a new stinger skin this the stinger i think is one of the more underrated weapons in you know the game if you use this thing correctly it is a beamer it, it is it's kind of disgusting and it's cheaper so that's always a plus big announcement buddy that's that's funny late night snack card is that killjoy and rays i can't tell what it looked like radio night peace and love buddy okay nine live spray all right the venturi specter this actually is a kind of a uh, cool looking specter i'll probably run this one every now and then this is not a bad collection it wouldn't be like i like the grid crash ones a little bit more but th this this collection's not bad uh radio night drop skin oh my god so many people are going to be running this because i it is one of my biggest pet peeves ever in this game specifically when people sit there being like can you drop your skin please i can't stand it just no that's my answer but you know it's whatever electric love this is a cute buddy i'm i'm, I'm a fan of this one there's a couple this would go really good with the blue version of glitch pop glitch pop vandal or whatever scars that bond card that's all right. It's pretty good. Grid Crash Bulldog. Yeah, that's 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 nice. I'm a huge fan of the colors on this. Shock Heart Spray. Cat and Mouse card. 
It's a fade card. I will never complain with that. Dream date. Oh my god. Dream team spray. This is funny. That's really funny. Uh, who's that blind spray? They really went all out with like memes and stuff. It's a Pokemon reference. That's funny. And then we have the Venturi Vandal. I I like the way this Vandal looks. It gives me kind of like SYS vibes or dot SYS. Is that, if that's what it was called. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I will definitely run this. I really think they should start giving Battle Pass skins like kill banners and stuff. You don't got to give them finishers and stuff, but I think they should start giving the theme ones like their own little kill banners. I think that would be sick. Uh, Spring and Soprano. That's funny. I, I'm a fan of this because I'm a musician myself. So this is really cool to me. Finally getting some musician love in here. Perfectly roasted. That's funny. Frozen solid, buddy. That's kind of cute. Rift Rider card. That that's nice for any Yoru main. This is probably the one you're going to want to run. Either that or the one from last act. Nice. More ready night. And then here's the knife. Um, I, here's the thing though is I don't know if this knife is held in the normal knife animation or in like the backwards one like the uh, reaver knife and stuff that would be sick if it was I don't want it to have the original knife animation I really hope it doesn't it probably does though and then we have the nine lives classic again another classic skin uh, you, uh, cl another classic skin can never hurt um it's not bad. I have Prime Classic, so I think I'd rather use that. But every now and then, I might throw this on. Uh, tight Knit card. All right. And then a, a bunch of Rady Knight. Yep. There's the Gold Origami card. And then, yeah, I figured that was the one that was the upgradable one. Uh, the Ultimate Collector card. That is sick. I'm not going to lie. This would be good if you were doing some sort of like a uh, Chamber collection. I feel like if you were like playing a lot of Chamber You'd run this with like a bunch of gold stuff. It would look really good. Plus a bunch of Radiantite. And that is, uh, that's all the battle pass. Uh, so I guess now we're going to move on to the, uh, the new map. Get into that. All right. We are loading into Lotus, the new map right now in a custom game. We're going to go check it out and see what we think. This is the first time I'm loading into this map. Who do I want to run around as? I don't know. We'll probably just play some Neon. Because I can get around the map a little faster. I This map, I'm a little scared for this map. Only because uh, maps like Haven, it's another uh, three-site map. And the thing about three-site maps is they are uh, very hit or miss. And there's only one in the game. Haven, luckily, is a great map. I am scared that this is going to be in the rank system, in Any the rank pool. And it's going to not we'll be do it good. The hard way. I'm scared that this map is going to end up not playing any good for comp at all like haven does I, I'm, I'm a little scared of that so we're gonna find out oh, let's see we'll wait really? thing. i probably no should have chose spy? defenders but it is what it is let's uh so so here's one of the spawns out of like immediately this is a beautiful map like it's gorgeous we have three sites, so let's see. We'll have to learn some callouts too, but that'll, I'm not going to do that today. Or at least not right now. Okay. Let's go check out the map. So we go seaside. Got a little area right here. Apparently, this is called Lobby. I feel like this corner right here is going to be a little annoying. Just me, though, because there will be def some defenders will probably be able to go right there. Maybe not, though. Um, we got a little, another corner right there. There's a lot of corners on this map is what I'm seeing. Got a little water area, so you might want to avoid full sprinting in that area because you will be loud. Little area right there, so maybe if someone comes around the corner, they won't see you up there. That's not a bad spot. More corners. Can you get up here? Yeah. This might be kind of annoying. Not so, so far. It's a very close quarters map, so probably this is definitely going to be a phantom map for sure. Like, Vandals are great, but I, for a map like this, I really do think that probably a phantom is going to be your best bet. I'm guessing this is the... 30 seconds left. No, I doubt it. 30 seconds left, that's fine. 
Cleveland, so we'll just go straight back in. All right, so you have you can go from that area over there to mid. This is B. This is B site right here. So I guess you can plant anywhere in here somewhere, like right here ish. Ten seconds left. You could probably plant in this corner, maybe. Not bad. Going in here. Well, more little corners. Yeah. All right. Let's uh go Bye back into advice. another one. Don't get shot. Let's go. I probably should take the spike with me and see if we can test out a few planning spots because there. Let's just be main. Uh, should we go through A? No, we'll go back right right back where we were. Actually, wait a minute. Quick feet, quick trigger. Did I turn off the cheat? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Shouldn't have done that, but it's all right. It's a little late now. So back to B site. So yeah, you can plant anywhere in here. Can you plant up here? You cannot. Can you plant up here? You cannot. So you can plant in this little strip right here. I feel like that's gonna get really annoying. This this site, I I I don't know how I feel about this site yet. I don't know. Uh, we go around. I'm actually going to guess this is the defender spawn. Yeah, that would make sense. Because you can go C that way. B's right there. And then A's this way. Yeah, I'm going to guess that. Let's go A side over here. Mm. You can go down this way. Can you climb up this? Yeah, you cannot. All right. This is going to be a really annoying corner to be able to sit in. We have a little thing right here. So this is Seasite, so you can plant anywhere in here. Gives me kind of bind is kind of what I'm getting. I'm getting like bind vibes. It's a little uh, zip line right there. That's 30 you seconds left. Uh, you can't go through. Oh, yeah, there's doors. How do these doors work? Fogger door. Oh. Yeah, I don't know feel about that don't know how I feel about 10 that. seconds left. break through this Let's break through that and that leads you right back to visa okay so far yeah this is the map this is a uh, this is it get ready I go okay fast. so um yeah all right let's talk about it all right so we have checked out everything in the new act um of course there's some patch notes uh i don't really i don't don't really want to go look at those right now maybe i'll make a separate video on that later but um so far uh the new act is a really solid act i mean to be honest any act that or any new season i guess i don't know if you call it season or acts i know they call it acts but i like saying seasons i'm a little bit more used to that so you know this season or act, uh, any map that comes with an act or a season is automatically, that makes that act like pretty good unless that map isn't very good. And I don't know exactly how that map is going to play yet because uh, it's a very interesting, very close quarters map. So I can tell you now, shotguns, um, any SMG, probably the Stinger and like the Phantom is, and L LMGs like the Ares is going to be your best friend on this map because it is such a, co a close quarters map that is not a long range map at all like you, you're going to be in people's faces the whole time uh in terms of who which agents I think might be really good on this map um any Sage is good on just about every map her wall will be able to block some entries that'll be very very useful I Rada will also be really really good on this map just because it is so close quarters um rays i don't see but i do not see being very good in this map i that i could be proven so wrong about that but uh, i think that she's not gonna be very good um phoenix i think is gonna also gonna be really really good just because of his flashes i think really any character with flashes in this map is gonna be really really freaking good but you also are gonna have to be really careful about where you put your flashes because it's so close quarters you might have teammates around um in terms of like a controller I have no clue 
uh, about who the, the controller is going to be in this map. I, to be honest, you can play just about any controller just on about on any map. The only one I would probably say you can't is Viper. But now that I think about it, I think Viper might be kind of busted on this map because it is so close quarters. She's going to be able to play around her util so easily. That's what I think. I could be so I could be wrong about that. But, you know, um, Omen, I'm pretty sure he'll be good. He's a very, very versatile agent. I really yeah, I don't see him not being good on that map. Neon. She's aggressive. I see her being good on any map. She's pretty, she's just good like that. KJ, I think she will definitely also thrive on this map for sure. I really think almost every agent in this game will be really good on this map, except maybe a few. I really don't think Raze is going to be very good on this map. I also do not see Chamber being, being very good in this map. That's just me again. I could be proven so wrong because, I don't know, because of his, his ultimate, I don't think it's going to work very well, especially after his nerfs. I I I've, I gotta figure that one out yet. Uh, really, those are the only two I really don't think are gonna be very good at this map. I think other than that, everybody else is gonna be super good. I didn't even think about Astra. I feel like Astra is gonna be super broken on this map because I I don't know. I feel like with her pulls and stuff, like with all these corners, it's gonna she's gonna be super useful. I feel like if you ask me the meta, I, I wouldn't really. I, I think it's a little too early to say if there's a meta, but if you ask me just from like first glancing without playing without playing the map and all that obviously i feel like this is going to be a two controller map i know that's probably a interesting way to go but i think this is going to be one where you're going to run want to run two controllers and i think those two controllers should be viper and astra astra is one of those harder agents to play but if you could master her and i think on this map she will be she will be dangerous. Same thing with Viper because they can both play off their utils so well. Um, I think they should obviously, then after that you go one Sentinel, one Duelist, and one Initiator. And I think if you're going to choose a Duelist, um, you could really just about choose any Duelist. Um, I probably think that your best bet for a Duelist is going to be Reyna, but Reyna does not bring any anything to the team other than her flashes. Uh, so... Maybe at that point, play the Phoenix or play Neon or Jet for smokes, have extra smokes, like stuff like that, I feel like would be really good. You know, maybe, maybe Rays will end up being really good. I could be so wrong about that, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, in terms of an initiator, really any initiator in this map is going to be super good. I really think that the only one that's not going to be very good is uh, Sky. Um, I really uh, think that, you know, Sova is good on just mini map. Um, Breach is going to be good because he's good, period. Fade is always good, but I feel like Sova might be a little better on this one, but we'll see. Um, KO is obviously going to be good just because his knife can go through walls. Or his The radius can go through, go through walls, so we'll see about that one. And then in terms of the Sentinel. Um, Sentinel, the Sentinel category on this map... I feel like it's going to be really weird and I'm going to throw two at you and one of them might surprise you. I think obviously KJ KJ, I feel like is going to definitely be a meta agent on this map because it's so close quarters. You'll be able to use the, her ultimate super, super effectively. You have her, you know, her, um, scatter bombs or whatever, or nano swarm. And then her turret, I think she'll be fantastic for one specific site. But also, it is three sites, so that might be kind of annoying. We'll see about that one, though. And then I believe that the other one, I'm going to surprise you guys a little bit, because this I think Cypher is going to be really good on this map. And I have a feeling, I, again, I could be so wrong. I probably am going to be wrong, but I have this feeling that Cypher is going to be your man for this map. Because it's so close quarters, he can play around his traps, his camera, um his alt he, he'll be able to play around it so well but again you also got to take into consideration those doors you have to take into consideration that it is a three site map so uh we'll we'll see maybe maybe i'm thinking here, wrong here but we'll see um other than that you know battle pass i would give a the battle pass a solid like seven or eight out of ten i think it is a really solid battle pass i don't dislike any of the stuff in it 
um i don't really hate any of those stuff like i'll be honest with you this battle pass right here with this collection i don't i can't stand this collection personally but you know it is what it is um and then in terms of the araxis collection bundle i will give it a uh give it an eight or a nine yeah i'll give it a nine out of ten it's a fantastic bundle gives me halo vibes color variants are great even the original one's great the only thing that kind of holds it back is the fire sound but i think you can really get get over that because it's not like super annoying kind of like origin is but yeah guys other than that that'll be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe turn on the notification bell that way you never miss a video from me and it supports me on the channel we're going to try to grow here and uh, we're, we're going to start posting more content. I'm super, super excited. We got plenty of content from plenty of games coming and I'm really, really excited. So without further ado, I'll see you guys later. Peace.